It's a gorgeous day at the Bayfront Park next door to the county building downtown. This is a place where kids can ride a swing, get very wet, and see public art. Like this statue, number 19 baseball player by Nikki de Sanfal. And also a new mural painted earlier this summer. See it all the way getting from the trolley station and walking up. You can see it from a lot of different angles and it just draws people in. I think it brings joy and a feeling of like happiness, which we could all use a little bit more of that in our day. <laughs> Hannah Gundrum is an artist who works with a San Diego nonprofit called Revision. There she coaches aspiring artists who are on the autism spectrum and she worked with them to create this piece of public art. She created a mural design that she projected on the wall one night and outlined the forms. People working with Revision came the following day and filled in the colors. But before that, Gundrum got ideas from lots of people about what images would present the right story and message. Jack Medved came up with the ideas for the sunflower and the pot that it's in. It kind of represents something very important. Inclusion for others is a great way to respect the circle of life. Well, something like that. <laughs> Medved is a person with autism. Some of his paintings are on display at a downtown coffee shop next to Pokey's Restaurant. Revision founder and director Joy Bow calls art a unifying force because it doesn't completely reveal the person behind it. When you see a beautiful piece of art, you don't necessarily think who would have created this, what type of person is behind this. You immediately have a reaction to the art itself. Um, so the person comes secondary to the experience that you're having when you're viewing art. Therefore, she says, with art you judge the creation. You don't really judge the artist or their personality. She likes to use the expression neurodiversity when talking about people on the autism spectrum. A lot of times people cannot communicate um, typically through speech and language, but they might have a gift of objects. Um, they might have a gift of piecing items together, you know, creating a sculpture or, um, you know, putting colors together really beautifully. And to me, that's a form of communication as well. Everybody has a blessing. Not everybody are, not every artist is the same here. We are all blessed with unique gifts and talents and. It doesn't matter what colors you choose and no wrong place or right place to start. Because the mural sits in a very popular waterfront park, it'll be seen by lots of people, from families to tourists to people who are homeless. Gundrum hopes they all remember something good. We don't know people's histories. We don't know where they've been. We don't know what their struggles or their, their triumphs might be. And with Waterfront Park especially being such a community-oriented space with so many different types of people coming here to enjoy the city and the park. Just letting people know that they're welcomed and that they belong and that they're cared about, essentially. The sign language on the left side of the painting says, I love you. The figure eight infinity symbol on the right-hand corner has become a symbol for people with autism. Bo says it represents the spectrum and the possibilities that people continue to have in their lives. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.